Hey guys, so it's basically the end of the night on the 10th, so I need to make a vlog for Vida. Uh, so I figure I will discuss, um, well, I'm not going this year, uh, but PAX East is this weekend, and I'm kind of jelly. I'm a little jelly of everyone going. And it just got me thinking that, um, I mean, two year, last year I went to Playlist Live, and that was like my spring convention that I flew to. And unfortunately, I didn't get to go uh, this year, but according to some friends, it kind of was more like, um, it was more almost like basically a fangirl fest, uh, and that there was more activities and things related to just being a fangirl, I think, meeting your favorite YouTubers. I mean, that's okay for, you know, the people who aren't really into the YouTube creating side, and there's people that they do want to meet, then that's a great opportunity. But for the people like me and a bunch of other people I'm friends with and that I know on YouTube who are creators, but they aren't uh, fangirl stalking down the hall status, uh, Playlist Live just really wasn't for them too much this year. I mean, that's just feedback I've seen. Uh, so it just kind of got me thinking, uh, next year when I do plan on flying to a convention in the spring, um, I know Playlist Live is going to be in February. Hmm. But, um, excuse me, I yawned. Uh, but, and it just got me thinking, I'd really like to attend PAX East. Uh, next year for my spring con. Uh, one, because I know there is a heck of a lot of people that I probably would be able, I know I'd be able to hang out with and talk to and people to meet and really things to do because as much as I love the general YouTube side of YouTube, like vloggers and stuff like that, um, when you think of people who like vlog and don't have a specific genre, but just like, you know, either daily vloggers or entertainers and that kind of thing. Um, you know, definitely, I love that side of YouTube and I love talking to those people. But if you see from my main channel, I kind of am really into gaming. So it would just make sense, logically, for me to at least attend PAX East. But the thing is... If I attend PAX East next year, because I'm not a huge YouTuber, uh, I cannot, with my current jobs, I can't support myself and go to two different conventions like that so close together because I can't fly everywhere because, unfortunately, plane tickets cost a lot. So I have to pick and choose, and I know that pa uh, Playlist Live is going to be in February, but um, I'm probably going to end up, I think I'm going to go to PAX East next year. And why I want to talk about this is I really wish that, you know, I know there's a lot of gaming conventions and everything, but I just wish from the experience I've had from Playlist Live last year and the past couple VidCons, I am going to VidCon this year, um, I just wish that the conventions, VidCon and Playlist, at least had a little more to do with gaming because the gaming community is such a huge, huge, huge part of YouTube, and to at least make the gaming side of VidCon and Playlist a little bit larger when it comes to, like, meeting creators who are very popular in the gaming community on YouTube, just, I wish that they would cater a little more to us, not saying that they don't already, but just, you know, a little more love never hurts, but, um, I do understand with the subscribers like with big content creators who have millions and millions of subscribers and if you're British you're automatically popular but that's just probably a stereotype of mine if you're like a if you're a vlogger from like you know Europe UK Britain uh, it's like almost like you're automatically popular but of course that's a stereotype and I really don't mean that but I mean uh, when I did go to play this live last year if you were not from America if you were from the European region over there in the UK in Britain and around that area you were stampeded in the hallway so um yeah, overall, I guess this is my announcement that I'm going to do my absolute best to go to PAX East next year uh, for 2015. Uh, and that I really wish VidCon and Playlist Live, though I love them very much, I am going to VidCon still this year, that they would just give the gaming community side of YouTube a little more love at the conventions because, um, you know, one of the largest, like the largest YouTube channel, PewDiePie, 
is a Let's Play gaming channel. So it just, it just seems to make sense to me. But I mean, it's all personal opinions. Uh, let me know what you guys think if I go to PAX East, if I will see you, and how much you, if you've been there, if you've enjoyed it. If you've gotten a playlist live in VidCon, your opinions on maybe about how they've really catered, if they haven't really catered as well to the gaming community as you wish they would, and how they can improve on that, or if I'm going to see you at VidCon this year, uh, just other random things. Yeah, so uh, that's about it for today. I love you guys, and I will see you for my next vlog. Bye!